guys welcome back to my channel yes i'm seeing it it's Gemma here i hope you are all well so i decided at this last minute on a monday afternoon that i was going to weekly vlog this week and it's actually it's actually half five at night but to be honest i've not really done much today all i've done is stayed in my jammies i have drank coffee i've tidied up and that's basically all today has been consisted of i'm off work today and to be honest, it was just a random day off. We've done nothing with it. Thomas has edited the last vlog, which is went live last Wednesday, and that was the weekend vlog. So that will be up by now as well. If you've not watched it, go and check it out. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd weekly vlog this week and let like, you see what we've got up to. As you guys know, if you watched our last weekly vlog, it's pretty realistic. YouTube isn't my full-time job, therefore this is just real life what we got up to and we thought we'd bring you along this week again so keep watching if you would like to see what we're getting up to this week so i am just making dinner and do you ever put something somewhere and you think right i'll put that there for a safe place and then realize that you can't actually remember where that safe place is because i want to make meatball marinara from spice and thighs for dinner tonight and i can't find it i've got the meatballs I can't find the sachet of the spice and thai stuff. So I'm going to have to make my own just tomato sauce, I think. So for our meatballs tonight, I have chopped a red pepper, a yellow pepper and a courgette. I'm going to add a tin of chopped tomatoes, some chilies, as many or as little as you like, some garlic granules, some Italian seasoning, and some tomato peel. The meatballs are actually the muscled food ones. They're one and a half cents each and I've just made them in the air fryer. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to half them and put them in the, the actual sauce once that's made. I have put everything in the frying pan. The only thing I've not put in is the courgette yet because it goes a bit soggy. And I've got pasta on the go. Put a little bit of water in this as well just to make it a bit thinner because it is a bit thick when you just put all those ingredients in. So this is probably not going to be called meatball, pasta, sauce, whatever, because I've just chopped the meatballs into fours, which means it's meatball triangles rather than meatball balls. <laughs> um, so I am mixing that through. I've just drained the pasta and I'm going to stick that in, mix it through as well. And then I'm going to add some Philadelphia lettuce just to make it in a sort of creamy sauce. So there we go, all done, and I've just served it with some sugar snap peas. So I think that looks quite nice for a low sin dinner. So we're treating this Monday like a Sunday, and we're catching up with the X Factor and having some ice cream, just chilling out on the couch since we've not seen each other all weekend. Oh, because Thomas was away in Germany, which is the last one. I'm getting all confused with these vlogs. <laughs> This is the new weekly vlog, not the actual weekend vlog. Um, it was in Germany, so we're just having some ice cream, catching up with the X Factor, and getting organised for the week ahead. Okay, so it's been about... A million. Well, it's quarter to ten, and we are still watching the X Factor. I just said, I wish we had vlogged as watching the X Factor, because, oh my God, there has been so many cringe moments to the point where I have actually been underneath my house coat because it's so embarrassing. I don't even, I don't even really like the X Factor until it gets to the live shows. I'm much more of a Strictly fan these days. And I'm not 100% sure that I'm loving Robbie Williams and his wife on it. I feel like, like <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the Robbie Williams wife in the vlog. <laughs> Like, why am I here? <laughs> That's not true. I think people probably like you more than they like me. Right, we've got two episodes left. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. <sighs> Is there more snacks? <laughs> Excuse the mess on the ironing board. Thomas has not put stuff away yet. But I am just using the Aldi glycolic cleansing pads. And I basically just run them over. They're really, really good. Although I think they're like a limited edition one. But I believe they're very, very similar 
to the Superdrug Naturally Radiant ones, which are also fab, and I've used them before as well. So basically just take them across my face. Now I have actually cleansed my face and there's still some makeup on there. I'm not very good at this like skincare routine. I need to get better at it. I have started using the Asda Radiance Night Cream because one of my friends recommended it and she said it was really good and she's got lovely skin. So I thought that would try it, why not? It's quite thick, it smells delightful and it sits really nice on your skin. So that's Monday done. I'm going to be so confused all week with what day it is because we were off today and then I'll not be I'll, I'll, all day tomorrow I bet you I'm like it's Monday, it's Monday. But then I'll be like, it's not, it's Tuesday. So I will say good night tonight. I will say good night now for tonight. And I will see you in the morning. Good morning, it's Tuesday and I have got some gyms, gym wear on this morning with my Peggy and Sam gym jumper. And I'm just about to make my breakfast. And I'm going to have a sweet omelette with some fruit this morning and then we're going to get to work. I am not 100% sure what shift I'm going to be working today because Thomas is doing something slightly different at work just now so um, I don't know if I'm doing a split or I'm doing a work right through. So I have got some of my mum's vegetable soup for lunch to take with us and that will be our day basically. So obviously this is as I said yesterday, a realistic weekly vlog, so I'm off to work today. Is having some fried eggs this morning. What oh, ladies there? Morning. <laughs> Morning. Morning. <laughs> My sweet omelette I've just topped with some blueberries and raspberries and to make a sweet omelette it's just three eggs, some cinnamon and some almond essence or vanilla essence, whatever you like. Mix it together and then made like a normal omelette. We have finished work um, so I worked right through today which means it's now about Rebecca's seven at night and I'm just about to go and make dinner which I think I'm going to make like a chicken stir fry and then I'm going to have a shower and go to my bed because I am absolutely knackered. I think I just ran just maybe slightly under 5k um, in about 35, 36 minutes which I'm pretty happy about because I've obviously not ran for the last probably about two weeks and oh my god i was so thankful that it started spitting a rain during it because it was so warm outside and i decided to be silly and wear a long sleeve t-shirt with a long a short sleeved one on top of it because i thought that would be quite smart but it clearly wasn't because i'm absolutely roasting so it's tuesday and tuesday is nearly done and we're halfway through the working week only two days to go so it's Tuesday night, bakeaway night. But we have got noodles, we have got vegetables, we have got chicken, and we've got Mayflower curry sauce. Two sins of it, and that's the only sins I've had so far. And I'm also having a can of the good stuff. Good morning, it is Wednesday, and I cannot wait to wake up one morning and start to feel like amazing. I've woke up this morning and I've got a sore throat again. My nose is all bunged up. If you have got any remedies whatsoever to get rid of this, whatever it is I've got, I've had it for the last five or six weeks and it is driving me crazy. I won't be going to run today because there is no way I'm going to be able to run with this chest, which is an absolute nightmare. But Storm Alley has arrived in Scotland and it is wet, windy and wild. So I don't even think that I would be going to run anyway because it is crazy out there. And it's only going to get more crazy. So work day today. This week is actually going to be really good because I'm going to Brayhead tomorrow for a sort of autumn winter fashion event thing. And then on Friday I'm getting all glammed up to go to a works do. So even though the 
first few days of this vlog isn't very exciting. It's going to get a bit more exciting as we go along um, into the rest of the week. So we'll break ahead tomorrow to talk things all, all about all things clothes. And then on Friday it will be hair, makeup, weigh in, new nails, and then the award ceremony at night. So an exciting week ahead. Today won't be very exciting though because it's work. So I will see you all later, probably after work. I'm working day shift today. Oh my god, what has this weather been like today? Storm Alley has well and truly blown Scotland apart. The amount of trees that have fell down, we've actually come home and everything out the back garden is okay. Um, I got caught in Storm Alley today when I went to the co-op and got absolutely drenched. My dress was like, it had just been taken out of the washing machine. So we're home now. I didn't obviously go, as I said this morning, I've not been feeling great again. <laughs> And I didn't go and run or anything today. I just came home, got my jammies on, stuck a jumper on because it's freezing. And Thomas actually said to me, do you want to put the heat on? And I was like, no, I've got my fleecy jammy bottoms on. I've got a t-shirt, a jumper and my slippers. I think I'll be okay. I also went to the shop and bought frozen peas because I'm going to make pea and ham soup for tomorrow at work. It's soup weather already. Summer is well and truly gone. I'm going to miss it because it was a good one, but I'm looking forward to the autumn and winter time coming. So I'm going to make soup for tomorrow and then I'm also going to make steak and chips for our dinner tonight. So we've got steak, chips, sugar snap peas and a cheese sauce that is basically just a beef stock cube water and then Philadelphia mixed into it. The chips look pretty nice done in the air fryer. I'm just finishing off the pea and ham soup. Well there's still ham to go in it but... If you watched the last vlog, weekend vlog, then you would have seen this face as well. I'm so pretty. Yeah, I've just done my tan and I've just done my eyebrows. I'm a day early. Normally I'm a Thursday tanner, but I am out tomorrow night at the Brayhead thing. So I thought I'm not going to get in until a wee bit late. I would just do my tan tonight and then it's done. And if I need to top it up, then I will. I'm using the Fake Bake 60, not second, 60 minute one. You leave it on for an hour. It's light. Two hours, it's a bit darker. Three hours. It's dark, but I'm just going to sleep in it. And then I'll be super brown in the morning. So fingers crossed I'm not like an Oompa Loompa, but you'll see me in the morning and see what I'm like. So I will see you when it's Thursday. Good morning, it's Thursday. I feel like this vlog's really just been in my kitchen. And look who's here, who's not been in the vlog this week so far. He still exists. Morning. Hello and welcome back to the car. I am just about to go to Brayhead for their autumn winter fashion event so I thought that I'd bring my camera along with me and let you see what I got up to. Uh, it starts at half past six and it's twenty past six and I've got from Hamilton to Brayhead to get to. So I might be a wee bit late. The traffic's not too bad so I better stop blethering and get on the motorway. I have arrived at Brayhead in one piece, but parked a mile away because it's super busy and I'm not too late. I can't come to Brayhead and not go to Primark. Look at how gorgeous this suit is. One of the girls at that event just did it on. It is purple corduroy. Those trousers would never fit me though. They are oh, beautiful. Oh, £15 and then the jacket is 20 
that is me back from Brayhead. Thomas has been watching the football. He seems quite happy, so that's a good <laughs> thing, I think. Um, and I have just brought us up a treat on a little tree. Thomas has got some desperados. I got some pecora out the co-op, so I've just made that. And I've got a little bloom gin with rose lemonade. Good morning everyone, it is Friday and it's our first day off of the week. So the first thing on the agenda this morning is to go and get my nails done. I'm going to head there just now and then I'm coming back to the house and then I'm going to go and get my hair done. I thought I would let you see my outfit today. I've got a grey jumper on that I've just tucked into this sort of pinky nude full leather skirt from Primark. The skirt was £8 I think. Tights and as usual my little black boots from the changing room. So it's time to go and get these bad boys transformed. Probably a nude because I always go nude. That's how nude of it. But I, yeah, I'll probably go nude. I actually think I might just get the same ones as I got the last time because I like them so much. So we'll see what I come out with. First task of the day has been a huge success. Look at these. How gorgeous are they? I have got the best nail girl in the world. I'm going to go home now and I've got a beauty favourites video to film which would have went live on Sunday. This should go live on Wednesday so if you haven't watched it then go and watch it. Um, and then I'm going to get my hair done. Thomas said to me, could you bring in something nice for my lunch? I think I'm what you're called wife goals. Do you not think? I definitely think. I have finished videoing my beauty favourites so now I am off to get my hair put up and I'll probably look a little bit different once I get back in the car. I'm quite excited. I do get nervous though when I'm getting my hair put up because I am a wee bit fuzzy. But this girl that I go to she's fabulous so I will look a little bit different next time I see you. Looking gorgeous with my little pin curls in. It's more to this side this time and it's nice and high and the curls that she's done are like super curly. I am hoping that they are going to stay in and so when I take out the wee um, Kirby grip they'll look quite curly. I'm really happy with it, she's fab. If anybody is from the Hamilton area then I totally recommend Queen's hair and it's on Lesson Hall Road and they're just fab in there and it's really reasonable as well. It's only 17.50 to get your hair put up. So if you're within the Hamilton area then I totally recommend to go there. Oh my goodness me, I made Thomas those garlic dough balls earlier. The whole house is absolutely stinking of garlic. I'm going to have to go and spray something and light candles and wax melts or something because anybody that comes in here is going to be thinking what the heck have they been eating and I had one of them and I can actually still taste the garlic so if you like garlic then the one pound dough balls out of Asda are garlicky. So this is the makeup look that I've went for. These are my favourite eyelashes. They are by Ardell and they're the wispy ones. And yes, my eyebrows I do need plucked, but I'm going for an HD brow next week, so I didn't want to pluck them before that. So what do we think? I'm so bad at this. <laughs> the door has just went and I have got a delivery from the Skinny Bakery, so I'm going to open it and let you see what's actually in it. Right, okay. So the first thing that we have got is skinny chocolate donuts. Low calorie cakes and cookies. Right, so per 100 grams there's 255 calories in these. Right, I'm not going to work out the calories and the sin value of all of them but we've got some Skinny chocolate donuts. Oh, then we've got some skinny mini gingerbread men. Oh wow, what are these? 
skinny peanut butter jam perils. Oh my god, right, okay. Skinny millionaire perils. They look amazing. Skinny cookies and cream. Wow. And then we have got skinny pumpkin spice perils. I have tried these before and oh my god, they are amazing. They were my favourite ones the last time that I got them. Absolutely delicious. So low calorie cakes and cookies from the Skinny Bakery. I don't know what to try first. Actually, I know what I'm going to try first. I'm going to try the Millionaire's Skinny Bakery ones. Let's see what they taste like. Oh my God, they are delicious. Thomas will absolutely love them. Maybe I should hide them from him. Thumbs up for these ones. Right, I'm going to try the peanut butter and jam ones as well. Oh, they smell quite peanutty. Wow. Thumbs up from me. I am ready to go. Got my dress on, hair's done. Makeup's done, dodgy tan line because of my brass strap. But we're okay. We're ready. So this is my dress. It's a little bit tight here, but... Oh well, shouldn't have it so much. From Quiz. Shoes are from Primark. everyone it is Saturday and absolutely listen to my voice too much singing too much laughing last night I had an absolute ball what a fantastic night it was it was absolutely amazing which you've probably seen the beef was the best beef that I have ever tasted in my life so they done absolutely amazing with the food sometimes when you go to big events they, it's like weddings, isn't it? That they, the food's not always great, the chicken's always a bit dry, they've got so many people that they're catering for. But oh my god, the food was absolutely amazing. The starter was a duck terrine and it was just delicious. The beef, oh my god, and then it was passion fruit cheesecake and it was outstanding with edible flowers. I've never had edible flowers before but they were absolutely amazing so I had an absolute ball last night. I don't know what the plans are going to be for today. Right now I'm just about to make a piece in bacon um, and yeah just see what the, how the day goes. I'm not really sure. It's 20 past 10 so we've been up probably for about the last hour or so We'll just take this Saturday as it comes. I don't think we'll be doing much, but just chilling, maybe start a new box set. I'm not too sure yet. Thomas would like to go for lunch, so we'll see how we're feeling later and see what we get up to. We are just about to go down to the shop to get some... Sweeties. Sweeties. Another weekend, another slum muddled is out the window. <laughs> okay, we're running 10k next week. That doesn't make it any better. I won't be running it, listen to me. I'll be crawling it. One way or another. One way or another, it will get done, won't it? Yes. Yes. 100%. Yes. So, yeah, we're going to the shop now. So, where are we? What? Where are we? The shops, getting the sweets. So, basically, we came out a walk to go to the shop to get sweets. The first shop didn't have what we wanted, so then we went to the second shop. It also didn't have what we wanted, so we've ended up out for lunch and having a <laughs> bottle of tea. That was on the way, so. I know, so we had to walk past it to get home, didn't we? Would not. I can't believe you've just ordered that for yourself. I don't even like any of that. Okay. No, I don't. You don't? Well, would it? It's tricky. We ordered that for you. We are actually sharing this, we're not. Thomas isn't just eating it himself. 
So it is now, I don't even know how many hours later it is, but my battery has died on my iPhone. So I'm having to use Thomas's little borrower's phone. We're walking home and we're going to go into the shop to get food. That is us home now and when I was in the co-op I picked up this. I have never tried it before so I'm quite excited to try it. It says all shook up espresso martini ready to drink pre-win cocktail. This is my absolute favourite cocktail right now so I'm going to try it. I don't know what it will be like. And obviously we got some Pecora, which is an air fryer. And yes, it's been a lovely Saturday. Right, so I've decided that I'm just going to end the vlog just now. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video, as usual, we would love you to give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new around here, then hello, welcome to the Lifestyle Hunter. And thank you for lasting this length of time through our <laughs> weekly vlog. We love you. We really appreciate it. Please hit that subscribe button. And we will see you all in our next video. Bye. Bye-bye.